We are out here in Santa Clarita, California, and we're at the Iron Horse Trailhead. There's a whole reason why that's ironic, but I won't talk about it. It's just funny how life is, and yeah. We got Magic Mountain over there, but we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna check out the bridge from the 1987 movie, The Lost Boys. Let's go. So this is actually kind of pretty. It's a, uh, it's a nice, I guess, bike trail, it looks like. A little two-lane road. So you guys should take some walks, take some bike trips. And you come over here, around that corner. There it is. The beautiful bridge. It's been totally transformed into a walking bridge. That is so cool. The excitement, guys, I'm telling you. Ooh. It is exciting. Like, my heart dropped when I saw that just coming around that corner. Very cool. This is cool. And look it. There's a little walking like trails down there to get there. So you can tell a lot of people have been here. But wow, look at this. This is awesome. This is definitely the bridge. Because I remember all this like piping right here. That was all in the movie. The ropes. Oh, wow. Let's go down there, guys. Let's go down and check it out better. Okay, so you guys know that The Lost Boys is one of my all-time favorite movies. I've been posting and talking about it for years. So for me to be at this bridge is very exciting to me. Now, a lot of people, um, you know, have the wrong idea that it's actually the bridge in Santa Cruz where they filmed all the boardwalk scenes, comic book store, the video store, like all those are in Santa Cruz. And they do have a bridge that's similar to this. It's not the same bridge though. They did film down here in Santa Clarita, which is, I don't know, it's kind of weird because I guess it's closer to Hollywood, but I don't know, maybe it was a scene that they thought about later and just came here because of the convenience. I'm not positive on that. Um, but yeah, this is the actual bridge, guys. Check it out. Isn't that gorgeous? My God. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the exact lineup shots because I mean, look at all this is way overgrown now. But I believe they would have been on the other side of that bridge. And maybe there's a trail over there. We'll investigate. I got nothing but time today. So we're going to investigate and, and try to line up the, the actual shot of them hanging. But my God, that is it, guys. There's nothing. There's nothing that's changed. Just all these shrubs and bushes that trees that have grown over the years. Oh, it is so cool. Little, I mean, there's walkways everywhere, too. They got little trails. Easy to get to. It's pretty though, right? Fantastic. Sorry guys, this view is just, it's getting to me guys, it's like perfect. Um, I am gonna walk around and see if we can find the other angle shot, because I know it was from that side over there. But we gotta see, there's a way over. I think I see a little trail here. May, no, that's blocked off. I'm gonna have to go to the other side that's just, no, it's just too much shrubs to get through. So let's go ahead and let's cross the bridge. Go to that side over here, and hopefully there's a way to get down there, but... God, that is so freaking cool. I can't believe I'm here, guys. So they have these wood slats, like, all along here. And you can tell that people have bent this one right here. So they can climb through. And you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna climb right through here, instead of walking all the way back around. There we go. That was, that was easy. I don't know why I'm out of breath. Oh, because you know why? It's like 90 degrees out here. And yeah, it wasn't a big hill, but it's 90 degrees. It's cool because you can, you can see the um, theme park, Magic Mountain, right out there in the distance. It's where they filmed uh, the movie Encino Man, actually, those roller coaster scenes. They filmed a couple other movies there, but Encino Man's one that comes right to mind right away. Very cool, let's take this walk. Let's walk this bridge together guys i got keys rattling my phone rattling in my pocket all kinds of stuff let's walk this bridge though yeah they would have ridden their motorcycles from the santa cruz beach boardwalk through all the haze and mist and sand they ended up right about here right around here is where they would have been getting ready for the train to come and fall down into that thick fog isn't that cool though 
nothing has changed. I mean, it's a steel bridge, so why would it over the last 30 years or whatever? I don't even know, 1987? God, I can't even do math right now. I'm just so in shock, but wow, look at this. Everything is just so overgrown now. I'm sure that, you know, just neglect and letting the, the dry creek kind of settle. Got 1898 right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. 1898 written right there in that steel. So this is a very, very old bridge. Okay, let's see. Trail ends that way. San Francisco Trail, Avenue Scott. All kinds of signs, but nothing to get down here. There's got to be a way to get down there, right? There has to be. I got to figure this out. Hold on. Let me let me let me do some surveying really fast and figure this out. You know what, guys? There are little trails down there, and I think I'm just gonna have to not be a little little baby about it, and I'm gonna have to just get through those bushes, get down there, because I can get the shot. I just gotta not be a wimp. I gotta get a little dirty. You know, it's kind of crazy, because this is like beach sand. Like, I know California beaches, and this is beach sand, but we're way inland. So it's kind of weird having this kind of real sand all the way out here, like, in the, in the hills, in the mountains. Because that is definitely California beach sand. I'm under the bridge now. I found an easy way down. So we're underneath. We're underneath right where they were hanging. Right? I think it was right there where that V part comes. Right there-ish. I think they were hanging right there because that looks familiar where that X part is. Um, and yeah, like, God, we're here. They were hanging right there, guys. You could still see the bars they would have been hanging on. And it's not too big of a drop, but it is a drop. So they may have had like an elevated truck bed or something like that, that the actors could have, or the stuntmen could have, you know, fallen into. But isn't that cool? Right there, that's the spot, guys. That's the spot they were hanging. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I'm a little, I don't want to say scared, but I'm a little worried. It's getting a little brushy out here. And I just heard some kind of creature crawling in there and honestly it sounded like a snake and this is definitely a rattlesnake area so i am not going to go and rummage through all these bushes because there's really nowhere to go anyways after you get through this it's just more this it's just more mess so we're gonna line up right here get this shot we're a little closer we're not where i wanted to be but we're a little closer maybe i could use my iphone and get a shot for you guys from that right here because I do have that wide lens on the on the iPhone 12 but yeah definitely definitely brushy down here and I'm hearing things but look at that guys this is it this would have been the shot almost uh, probably a little bit higher actually we might have had a crane or something um, or been back on uh, they probably had a crane or something back over there I would think that is so cool though I wonder if these people like there's a guy walking over right now I wonder if he has any idea how significant this bridge is to horror history, right? Like, I don't know, probably. I would think as locals, you know what this bridge is from, but God, so cool, guys. Okay, gonna, we're gonna walk a little further back and just see if we can get a different shot of this. But if anyone wants to come down here, um, it's pretty easy, actually. I, I found a nice clean trail underneath the bridge, uh, right where the entrance is, so. Very, uh, very easy to get down to, and you can get a couple good shots if you have the right camera and lenses and stuff, but very cool. I just love that they were right there. They would have been hanging right there, guys. God, that is so cool. Yeah, just out of curiosity, I want to come to the other side to make sure I wasn't on the wrong side. And this definitely doesn't match up, guys, because look, you have this giant tree here that blocks everything. And I don't remember seeing a tree even, you know, 30 years ago or whatever it was. That would have been in the shot because it was a very clean shot of the bridge and where they would have fell from so they definitely were on the other side of this bridge they were not on this side but hey i checked it out right did my investigating pretty 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 what a pretty shot i backed up just a little bit further just to get this you know we have a straight on shot we don't really see that in the movie but it just gives you a good idea of how beautiful it is it's so cool freeways Right over there, and then there's Magic Mountain on the other side of those brush as well, but... God, this is so cool. And it's hot, guys. It's 90-something degrees out here. So, and I'm wearing black just because I was, you know, I was driving all day. 
my god, that is so cool. There it is. Lost Boys Bridge, guys. I made it, finally. 44 years old, and I finally made it to check it out.